Hello students, in today's lecture, we will discuss the very famous experiment of determining wavelength of monochromatic sodium light with the help of the concept of Newton's ring, which are formed due to the interference of uh, light. So, what will be the apparatus we will require for this? We will be requiring a traveling microscope. We will require a sodium vapor lamp for the sodium light, plano convex gla uh, gla lens and plane glass plate. And the complete experimental setup of Newton's ring looks like this. Here is the lamp source. This is the traveling microscope. And here inside is the plano convex lens and plane glass plate where the thin air film of wedge shape gets formed which results in circular fringes of light. Now this is the scale from where we are going to read the reading. So this is our main scale. Vernier is here itself with either 60 divisions or whatever mentioned. This is our traveling microscope. This is the telescope holder and focusing screw where we have to focus the fringes. This place we will be keeping our eye to observe the fringe pattern. So this is what the experimental arrangement looks like. Once the apparatus is set, our eyes are going to observe this circular ring pattern. These are known as Newton's rings where we can see that the center is dark because of the condition of minima being satisfied here. In case center is not dark, it means dust particles have come between the plano convex lens and plane glass plate. The very first thing which we have to do is we have to find the least count of the given microscope. This is what the microscope reading scale looks like. The down one is the main scale. This is the vernier scale where we will be reading the divisions. We will not be reading this scale. So let us have a look at how we will find the least count. Now between 0 to 1, there are 20 divisions. And these 20 divisions are equal to 1 centimeter. So one division is equal to 1 upon 20 centimeter. And the number of divisions on the vernier scale are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50. So what is the formula of least count? Least count formula is value of one main scale division upon total divisions on the vernier scale. So one main scale division is 1 upon 20 centimeter and total divisions on the vernier are 50. So least count comes as 0 0.001 centimeter. Least count is very important before we begin any experiment. In case you get confused with which division of vernier scale to remember, always remember that that division is red of vernier which coincides with the main scale. Complete coincidence happens. Here you can see in this diagram, this is not coinciding, second is not coinciding, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, but the eighth division is in straight line with the main scale reading. So this is how we are going to take the reading. And the final reading will be equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count. So this is the total reading. The observation table for Newton ring experiment we will be having in the first column number of rings which we will be taking according to our experimental requirement. Like suppose we start with the 20th ring, then leaving four division uh, rings, we will take reading for the 16th ring, again leaving four divisions, the 12th ring, again leaving four divisions, the 8th ring, again leaving four divisions, the 4th ring. And 
traveling microscope, we will take readings both left hand side and right hand side. After that, for getting diameter, we will subtract the left hand side and right hand side readings, these TR, TR, to get diameter, and then we will be squaring that diameter. MSR, mean scale reading, VSR, vernier scale reading, TR, total reading, equal to main scale reading, plus vernier scale reading into least count. Now, how are we going to take the readings? We will first set our cross wire at the center of our Newton ring pattern. Remember not to make the mistake of setting it above or below this center because then you will be reading the chord, not the diameter. When you are at the center, then this length gives the diameter. So it should be exactly at the center. After that, with the help of our screw, we will be moving it to the 20th ring, our cross wire. Here, at the 20th ring. Now, we will read the main scale and vernier scale. Suppose this is the position. Then, our reading for the 20th ring. The main scale reading will be the one which is coinciding with this arrow or the zero, which is coming out as 4.55. And the vernier scale reading, we will check out which division is in complete coincidence with the main scale. So we will begin from here. We can see in these 10 divisions, no division is coming in straight line with the main scale. Next 10 also the same story. Next 10 the same. But the 41st division here, this is in complete coincidence with the main scale reading. So our reading becomes 4.55 plus 41 into 0 0.001 centimeter. Next, we will slide the microscope with very slow motion and take readings when the cross wire tra lies tangentially at the outer surface of the 16th, 12th, 8th and 4th dark ring. Let us take one more reading. Suppose the 16th ring, this is the position of our scale. Once again, the main scale reading will be coinciding with the zero or the arrow, which is coming out as 4.55. Our vernier, the very first division is coming in light with main scale and vernier scale. So total reading becomes main scale reading plus vernier into least count. Next, now four more rings we leave and we come on the 12th ring. Once again, the 12th ring, this is our main scale, 4.5. And the vernier is, I think, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8th or 9th division. So this is how, leaving out four, four rings, we will take the readings on the left-hand side. After that, we will jot down the readings like this. For the 20th ring, MSR 4.55, VSR 41. And if we notice that the readings are either going to decrease uniformly or increase uniformly on one side of the scale and on the right hand side, reverse will happen. So if we observe from here, it is decreasing uniformly. So on the right hand side, it should be increasing uniformly. And TR here will be MSR plus 41 into 0 0.001 centimeter. Now let us move to the right hand side. Our vernier, we focus it here on the 20th ring. And again, we have a look at our main, uh, either you can start from the fourth ring also and move the screw in one direction. So from zero, you are on the fourth ring. So once again, what is the MSR coming out as? 4.1, 4.2. Here is your MSR. And for VSR, you check out which division is coming in straight line with the upper and lower scale. That becomes your VSR. Similarly, the eighth ring reading, 
the 12th ring reading. This way we are moving away from the center. And finally, the 20th ring reading. So what is our observation table looking like? Have a closer look at the observation table. Main scale reading, vernier scale reading, total reading is MSR plus VSR into LC. And right hand side, so if you look here, on the left hand side, the readings are declining uniformly. And on the right hand side, they are following the reverse process. Newton ring readings follow a U-shape pattern. Here, if they had been increasing, then this side they must have been decreasing. Now, in order to find the diameter, we will subtract the total reading of left hand side and right hand side with a mod. So, we subtract the total reading of right hand side and left hand side and we get the diameter. We will take square of this diameter. Next, what we will do? We will uh, write the square of the diameter and take a mean value of the squares of all these diameters. Place them in the famous formula of Newton ring experiment, lambda equal to dn plus m square minus dn square upon 4mr, where m is the difference between the uh, circular fringes which we have observed. Like in this experiment, we have taken readings 20th, 16, 12, 8, 4, 0. So the difference is 4. And R is radius of the plano convex lens, which is mentioned on the apparatus. And this is the mean of the square of diameters. Putting these values here, we get, so M is 4, R is 60, we get lambda as 6644 angstroms. Now, we can, if we want to find the percentage error, take the standard as either 5893 angstrom or 5896 angstrom and we can find the percentage error. We can even draw a graph and find lambda. Graph for Newton ring experiment will be plotted between the square of diameters and n along the x-axis and we get a straight line. We will choose the best fit line from the graph and find its slope. We will take all these points, plot them on the graph between d square and n. Here, d square and n, order of the fringes. And we take the best fit line, find its slope. Once we have found the slope, we are going to put it in the formula of lambda here. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So slope upon 4 into radius of plano convex lens, that is r. And again, we get lambda here. The precaution here of the experiment is that the lens and glass plates should be cleaned properly and setting of the cross wire should be strictly at the center so that we are reading diameter, not the cord. And we should be very careful with the source of light to be monochromatic when we are doing the experiment. Thank you.